God is saying to you today, July feels like healing, laughter, and breakthrough. The Spirit of the Lord keeps showing me a turning point. This month is the beginning of your best days. God sees your heart. He sees the desires. He knows you feel lonely. He knows you long for your person. He listens to the cries of your heart, and He cares. He loves you so much. He wants you to know that He's working on them. He's preparing your heart to be loved the right way. He hasn't forgotten. Like this video if you have a belief in God. The Spirit of the Lord is saying, July is the start. And I don't know what that means to some of you, but I heard that clearly in my spirit. This month is the very beginning of a brand new chapter for your life. Things will begin to shift and move this month. Physically, you're going to start to see things start to change before your eyes. And the Spirit of the Lord revealed to me that when things begin to move, things will start to shift suddenly, and it won't stop. It will be one things after another, almost like a train of breakthrough back to back. I see it beginning suddenly and taking off in the brand new month. This is still the year of supernatural doors being opened. Get ready and stay ready. God is about to do amazing things for those who press through the pain and trials. The tides are about to turn quickly as you go from mourning to dancing. Something so beautiful is happening this year. Stir up your faith. Hold the Father's hand. It's time for great change. June will be a big month for you. You will receive unexpected blessings, good news, and miracles all month long. You will be happy again. You will heal. You will grow. You will flourish into the person you are destined to be. You will finally be at peace, you deserve it. Type 1111 if you are ready. God is saying to you today, I will bring you out of the darkest hour and use it to promote you. My child, come to me with great expectation, knowing that I am your God. I am bringing you out of frustration. I am bringing you out of limitation. I am bringing you into a place of fulfillment and favor like never before. The delay is over. Be encouraged and of good cheer in this season. I am your source. Trust in me that I am doing what you have asked me to do. When the night seems endless and sorrows weigh heavy on your heart, remember my promise from Psalms. Weeping may stay for the night, but joy comes in the morning. Every dawn brings renewed hope and fresh beginnings. Your trials are but a moment in the grand tapestry of your life. And with every sunrise, I offer you another chance to embrace the joy and beauty that await. Do not be discouraged by setbacks or failures. In me, there is always a path to redemption and restoration. I am the God of new beginnings, and I can turn even the most broken situations into something beautiful. Trust in my ability to bring beauty from ashes. In the midst of life's challenges and uncertainties, do not be disheartened or afraid. Trust in my divine plan for your life, for I know the path that is best for you. Even when you cannot see the way ahead, I am paving the road, and my light will illuminate your steps. My beloved child, today I want to remind you of the power of forgiveness. 
Just as I have extended forgiveness to you, I call you to forgive others. Extend grace, compassion, and reconciliation to those who have hurt you, just as I have done for you. Walk in the freedom of forgiveness, and let my love shine through your forgiving heart. Type, I am open to miracles, to affirm. I have heard your prayers. I can feel your pain. I know that you may not understand all that I allow, but I am always in complete control. Out of your hurt and disappointments, I will bring great joy and blessings. I need you to hang on during these difficult days. Everything is going to be alright. Place your trust in me like never before. Be still and know that I am God. I know you have been struggling for a long time. Financially, spiritually, and emotionally. You have a good heart, and people have abused you in many ways. The devil has tried to make you lose your mind many times. You have been betrayed in many ways, yet you stand in the midst of your storms. You are still here because I am with you. I will not allow any weapon that is formed against you to prosper. Fear not, I am going to turn things around and bless you in the presence of your enemies. Hold on to your faith. I am orchestrating every detail of your life. I am ordering your steps. Nothing just happens. There are no coincidences. The season I held you back was for your protection. This is the season where I am opening doors. This is the season where I am bringing the right people in your life and removing the wrong ones. As long as you seek me daily, I will protect you from danger and put a prompting in your spirit letting you know when it's time to take a step of faith. Don't give up. Don't lose hope. You're so close to your breakthrough. I heard your prayer. My angels have been sent to assist you. Healing is coming your way. Financial help is coming your way and new opportunities are coming your way. Your season of lack has ended. Your season of abundance and overflow has begun. Be encouraged today. Trust me. I love you. Type, I am ready. To affirm. When things seem cloudy, hold on to hope like a bright, unbreakable thread. It's me whispering, better days are ahead. Your hope, mixed with a little faith, lights up the darkest paths. Remember, I'm always working in your life, turning even the smallest glimmers of hope into beacons of joy and peace. Keep hoping, I'm right here with you, turning hope into reality. Something is shaking your faith that you never saw coming and it's making second guess God's presence and promises. God promises to make something good out of the storms that bring devastation to your life. Give God time to redeem your story, renew your hope, and restore your strength. Don't decide what God can and can't do based on the chapter you are in. A single chapter never defines an entire story. Sometimes the miracle is just serving the current chapter in order to move on to the new chapter. What you're going to find today is groundbreaking. Brief you're battling to take care of bills. Overwhelmed with cash stresses. Also, the following moment. You're drawing in cash like steel to a magnet. What has this daily routine changing effect in individuals' experiences? It's called the Hereditary Abundance Code once you actuate it. 
your life won't ever go back from this point onward. You can activate your hereditary abundance code here today. It's ideal to actuate this code now. While this page is still live. Tap the connection in my remarks to actuate your hereditary abundance code. These days, I'm barely surviving. And that's okay. I want you to know, it's okay to feel that way unsure about a lot of things. You don't have to force yourself to feel hopeful or happy just because a new month is starting. God will find you exactly right where you are. He will meet you in the middle of uncertainty. And I pray that it's his peace that you'd fully depend on. Dear friend, it's okay to be unsure. Emotions fades. Tough days don't last. Let God strengthen your faith. He is doing something even if you don't feel it. Even in the middle of trials, I am still blessed. Even in sickness, I am still blessed. Even in the waiting, I am still blessed. Even if I'm not financially rich, I am still blessed. Even if I'm not the most popular, I am still blessed. I'm blessed not because of what I have, but who I have, I have God. In Him, I am complete. In Him, I am satisfied. In Him, I am loved unconditionally. In Him, I will never be in lack. In Him, I'm blessed eternally. Type 444 If you're ready, never defeated. Right now you might think that your life is hopeless. But what you can't see is God picking up all the broken pieces that you're too scared to touch. He's fighting battles you don't even know. You're about to give up, but God is declaring. You're about to walk through your breakthrough. My child, have faith in me. I am fighting for you. God is saying to you today, I know you're anxious about your future. You're worried about your family, your career, and your finances. My child, those burdens are not yours to carry. Give it all to me. Do not worry about tomorrow. I will lead you. I will provide for you. I will heal you. I will satisfy your deepest longings. I will make you whole. I have a plan and in me, you have a purpose. When you ask God to be in charge, don't be surprised when he asks you to let go of your good plans in exchange for his best plans. Don't be surprised when he asks you to forgive and to be humble. Don't be surprised when he puts you in difficult situation. Because when God is in charge, there is growth, forgiveness, and eternal things that are worth the sacrifices. There's blessing in the process. Don't force the things you wanted to last. You only get stressed when you rush in getting what you think you need. Remember, the Lord works all things together according to his mighty purpose. Type 1111 if you believe. Let people know you are hurting. You can't expect everyone to understand what you're going through, but it will be a huge help for them to know that you are not yet ready to move forward. Give yourself space to breathe. Slowly open the window so the light can break in. On some days, you will be in need of someone else's company, yet most of the time, you will only want time on your own. To be truly free from others' opinion of your pain. To not be pressured by the rush to be healed, but to just deeply weep without thinking that you're meant to be stuck in this misery. How long? 
all day and all night as long as you rest at Jesus' feet. The concept of God being worried or concerned is a complex and deeply personal one, varying greatly between different cultures, religions, and individuals. However, in the context of the intense emotions and urgency conveyed in the statement, it is possible to explore the idea of a divine being feeling distress or concern for the well-being of an individual. Type. I accept myself. To affirm. God is sharing with you today. I realize you have been second-guessing yourself recently and contemplating whether you are truly sufficient or adequate to do what I put in your heart to do. This message is here to advise you that you can do everything through Christ. Don't even think about surrendering or let dread work you out of your fantasy. Keep in mind I'm with you and you will succeed. You can do this. Really look at BioConnect to mystery of draw and cash. Connect in remark area. In this scenario, the most beloved person in a family is facing the gravest of threats the prospect of dying. The idea of losing a cherished family member is undoubtedly a source of great anguish and sadness for many. If we consider the possibility of a divine being taking an interest in human affairs, it is not difficult to imagine such a being sharing in this pain and worry. Furthermore, the statement mentions that there is someone trying to get revenge for an unnamed transgression. This aspect adds a layer of complication to the situation with the potential for harm to come to the beloved family member not only through natural causes, but also through the actions of a vengeful individual. Type. I am love. To affirm. If we assume that God is a just and loving being, it is possible that this divine entity would feel a sense of responsibility to protect the innocent, and uphold moral values. As such, the prospect of a loved one being targeted for revenge could be a significant source of worry and concern for such a being. In sum, while the idea of God being worried or concerned is a complex and deeply personal one, it is not difficult to imagine such a being feeling distress or sadness at the prospect of a beloved family member facing death or harm. Whether through natural causes or the actions of a vengeful individual, the idea of a loving and just divine entity taking an interest in human affairs and working to protect the innocent is a comforting and reassuring one for many. Type. I appreciate myself. To affirm. Actuate the progression of limitless riches, joy, joy opportunity, and certainty into your life by rolling out one minuscule improvement to your morning schedule. Would you need it? Really take a look at connect and remarks underneath to know the abundance mysteries to draw in an overflow of riches. By in our feet assuming that you have faith in God. If God gave you an idea, a dream, a vision, a plan, or something you really want to do, stop whiting and start doing it. Don't worry if it won't work the way you planned it to. Do it anyway. Do it messy. Do it broke. Do it small. Do it big. Do it scared. Do it joyful. Don't say, you're waiting on God. Where in Arielite you're just stalling. You have everything you need. Look within. It's right there inside you. You just have to look for it. It's waiting for you. 
A lot of us think that we always need a giant leap of faith in order to follow God through our purpose. Yet he never mentions leaps, only steps. It's the steps of faith that lead to success. Remember, steps belong to man. Success belongs to God. What I've learned from life is that for every inch of sadness lies a foot of happiness ahead. I've learned that the simplest of times brings the grand set of pleasures and the hardest goodbyes often lead to the best hellos. I've learned that crazy chances guide us to unexpected discoveries and that tough times unveil the sincerity of people. I've learned that you have to hold on to your smile every day and free yourself of that frown. If you want to attract huge money effortlessly, starting today, check link in comments below to know the shocking wealth secrets revealed by rogue NASA scientists. Subscribe our channel if you believe in God. Dear beloved child, I know sometimes you feel troubled. I know you feel weak. I see you at times trembling with fear and confusion about your life. I know that you often feel lonely and afraid. So I want to tell you now, my dear child, your suffering reaches my ears and my heart. You may think that I don't hear your cry, but know this. Not only do I hear your cry of anguish, but I cry with you, and our cry reaches my Father in heaven. Your pain and suffering never, not in a single instant, go unheard. Every tear and every moment of worry pierces my heart. My heart bleeds from all the sadness you feel. Know that all your pain I have taken upon myself. Even before it hurt you, it was placed in my wounded side for all eternity. All your suffering, shame and fear I took upon me so that you could be at peace with my Father. I have done this for all humankind. For this my Father lifted me up and glorified me, his Son, above all others. This reason, above all, is why I came. I want to give you the one thing that I am sure will help you in any uncertain moment, my peace. I give you my peace, with nothing held back. I give you the peace that comes only from my spirit. My spirit tells you who I am and what I did for you, and all the splendor and majesty of God is found within my peace. My peace sets you free. Do not fear. My peace heals you. Be strong trust in my peace. Receive my peace. It is my love poured out for you from before time itself and continuing eternally. Rest, beloved child, in the loving arms of my peace. Type yes if you feel this. As you go about your day, you may have brushed off the pain and hurt caused by someone in your life. You may have told yourself that it's just a part of life, or that you need to move on and forget about it. But what if I told you that there is a deeper reason behind the pain you have experienced? What if I told you that someone in your life paid someone else to cause you harm? I want you to take a moment to truly consider this possibility. It may be difficult to hear, but it is important to face the truth and not ignore the message that is being presented to you. The fact that someone intentionally caused you pain is a serious matter, and it is not something that should be taken lightly. You may be wondering why someone would do such a thing, the answer is often complex and can be influenced by a variety of factors. 
Perhaps the person who paid for your harm was motivated by jealousy or a desire to see you fail. Perhaps they were trying to protect themselves or someone they care about. Whatever the reason, the fact remains that someone in your life sought to cause you harm. And this is not something that should be ignored. It is natural to feel upset and hurt upon learning this news. You may be angry at the person who paid for your harm. Or you may feel betrayed by the person who caused you pain. These are normal reactions and it is important to allow yourself to feel and process your emotions. However, it is also important to remember that you have the power to choose how you respond to this situation. You can choose to let the pain and hurt define you, or you can choose to use it as a catalyst for growth and change. One way to respond to this situation is to seek understanding and forgiveness. This may involve having a conversation with the person who caused you pain, or it may involve seeking counseling or therapy to work through your emotions. By seeking understanding and forgiveness, you can begin to heal and move forward in a positive way. Another way to respond is to take action to protect yourself from further harm. This may involve setting boundaries or distancing yourself from the person who caused you pain. It may also involve seeking out supportive relationships and community. By taking action to protect yourself, you can create a safe and healthy environment for yourself. No matter how you choose to respond, it is important to remember that you do not have to face this situation alone. There are people and resources available to support you on your journey towards healing and growth. Do not ignore this message, but instead, open it immediately and take action to address the pain and hurt in your life. In the realm of human relationships, trust is a precious and fragile commodity. Betrayal, in its various forms, can leave deep emotional scars that linger for years, affecting our ability to form meaningful connections with others. Today, we will explore a startling message from a higher perspective, the possibility that someone in your life has paid someone to cause you hurt. While this notion may be difficult to digest, it is essential to address and investigate in order to bring closure and healing. First, let us delve into the nature of betrayal. It can manifest in many ways, such as infidelity, deceit, gossip, and manipulation. Often, we can identify and process the pain that comes from direct sources of betrayal. However, when a third party has been enlisted to orchestrate this betrayal, it adds an extra layer of complexity and trauma. This type of covert manipulation can cause us to doubt our instincts, question our relationships, and feel overwhelmed by feelings of helplessness and vulnerability. When confronted with the idea that someone in your life might have conspired to harm you, it can be tempting to allow anger, distrust, and fear to overtake you. However, maintaining composure and responding mindfully to this message is crucial. Take care of yourself. Type yes if you're ready and share this video with five people who trust God. Comment Jesus is Lord. To support our channel please subscribe our channel and turn on bell notification.